Hello and welcome everyone to Universe Sandbox uh, 2 in a little circle because they don't want it to be called 2 anymore but it's still 2 in my heart, darn it. Today we're going to be seeing if we can make the moon into a black hole because, you know, that wouldn't be unhealthy for the people living on Earth. I mean, there would be absolutely zero repercussions for turning the moon into a black hole. Watch this. We're gonna get Earth into the moon. We're going to get the moon. We're going to delete the moon. We're going to the Patreon server. I'm actually going to do a little bit today, so no worries. And then we're going to get this one solar mass, and I'm sure nothing will go wrong when we try to orbit it. Oh, damn. Apparently black holes don't play nice. Okay, well we're gonna have to try that again, aren't we? Okay, so let's get the Earth, and let's get a black hole, and see if we can just make a miniature black hole. Miniature black holes are like poodles, you know? They've got quite a bite, but you know, you can just kick them. They're annoying. I do not endorse the kicking of poodles, by the way. Animal abuse is not supported by me. Alrighty, anyways. <laughs> Ignoring my stupidity. Oh, damn. I, I love the black hole effect. It's so good. Alright. Let's go ahead and make this into the mass of one moon. Wait, did that just... Oh, shoot, I didn't mean to do that to the Earth. Oh, no. Earth. <laughs> Look, that made a slight difference, didn't it? All right, okay, here we go. Uh, we gotta get the black hole. <laughs> Gonna make it one moon. Wow, already screwed things up pretty bad. Uh... Where are you? Oh my god, it, it's it's so cute. It's a tiny little black hole. Alright, and then we just have to auto-orbit it. Yay! You know, if a tiny black hole like this was orbiting the Earth, we wouldn't know. There would be no way of knowing. I mean, we wouldn't be able to detect it in any real way. Well, maybe gravitational? Oh yeah, yeah, well if it was if it was the mass of the moon, we'd notice it gravitationally, but if it was like a really, really tiny black hole, there, there would be no way. It's like the guy who said that there was a teapot orbiting the Earth. There's just no way to prove him wrong. Alrighty, so we got our moon uh, going around. It's actually pretty impressive, isn't it? I mean, we've got literally a black hole orbiting the earth without any repercussions now what we're going to do is slowly increase the mass of said black hole until we see repercussions the thing about a black hole is they can actually be quite tame if they're tiny because if they're tiny they can still not have too too much mass i mean of course they have a lot more mass than other things that are their size but I mean, if you get really, really small, like, it's not like everyone's going to die a level. Well, unless we make it that way. Now, this is a little bit odd. The Earth, we got like this slight kind of binary orbit here going on now as we increase the mass of the black hole because now Earth is starting to like orbit the black hole an equal amount that the black hole is orbiting Earth as it gets closer to Earth uh, gravity. Um, but we're just going to continue increasing the mass because we can actually get really close with the black hole. Unlike a planet, the black hole is so tiny. Oh, okay, so there's some of the slight repercussions. You know in one of those, if you're American and one of those drug ads come on and they're like, this will make your eyesight better. Side effects may include death. <laughs> This is, this is the side effect that is, uh, very tiny in, in the, in the small text. Nobody knew, nobody knew there would be such repercussions from removing your spleen. However, this is what happens when your spleen is removed. So, the next time the spleen remover comes knocking on your door, please say, no thank you, spleen remover. No thank you at all. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for listening to this public service announcement.
I'm very glad, very glad to, to say that we have saved many spleens on this day. Oh, damn. Oh, no, the black hole. Oh, no. What? That didn't hit? That is absolutely insane. What just happened? I have spleen ring. Someone's coming for it, man. You gotta watch out. Oh, is it? It's gonna eat Earth now. There's no way it won't. There's no way. There's no way it's not. It's not going to. Are you? Oh no, it did. I. I wish Earth got like crunched and didn't just disappear. That would be a little bit better. Alrighty. So there's a second way that we can do this, and you're probably going, what? How do we do this if we don't decrease the mass of the black hole? Well, there's always two sides to an equation. What we're gonna do is we're gonna create a very chunky Earth. Like, a really chunky Earth. I'm not sure how chunky the game will let me make Earth before it becomes like a gas giant. But let's see just how chunky we can get it. Alright. Yep. 50, 80 Earths, 90 Earths. Great, there's plenty of food and space for everyone now, even though volume increases much faster than surface area. Wow. Wow, Earth is legitimately ten times- oh. Ah. Ah, oh, let's undo that. There. Oh no! Oh, we deleted the continents! And, and and humanity, I hate it when that happens. That is my least favorite thing to do. Alrighty, let's let's undo that. Ah uh, yes, the globalizes. Well, when Earth gets that large and we have to spread the thermal energy across the entire thing and there's no sun, uh, gets a little bit challenging. I, so I think we can do 16 times Jupiter's- nope. Nope. Fif 15? Nope, that is literally just Jupiter. That is not even Earth. I'm getting further away from my goal every second. This is supposed to be a game, not reality. Alrighty, let's see. Jupiter, 15. Really? No, we made it much further than that when we did the slider. I guess slowly doing it. It's 12. It's 12. Alright. Am I just dumb? Ah! Ah, I am dumb. Good job. All right, so we've got Earth 12 times the size of Jupiter. Is this enough to go up against a black hole with the mass of the sun? No. <laughs> no, it's not. However, we can modify that a little bit. Here's our one molar mass. Molar, not molar, God. I'm out of chemistry and now I'm saying the word molar unironically. No, not, not like very, what is the molar mass of an earth molecule? Chem chemistry students, please share in my pain. Alright, here we go, let's see if we just, all we gotta do, let's try to get it even to start, 12 sun, no, that is not, that is not what I wanted to do, I wanted to make that also 12 Jupiter, and then we can just binary orbit it, and bam, look at, oh my god, why, oh, d damn, it really did decide that it wanted to murder Earth though, oh, oh, oh my, <laughs> Oh, this <laughs> what I, the funny thing when you do black holes in universe sandbox is that they just take material out and then throw it back into you. It's like if someone ripped off your arm and started slapping you with it repeatedly. It it would just be uncomfortable. My demonstration is now complete. I think I also broke my headphones. Like that was that was a little bit odd. They made a strange noise. Why are you hitting your <laughs> Spike, give me the AK-40. Why do you need an AK-47? That seems a little bit overpowered considering what we're doing right now. Honestly, the black hole is just... It's letting Earth cool down, start to like go back to normal, and then it comes back for an... Oh! Oh, it ran away forever! Damn. 
Bad parenting skills. Oh, it didn't run away forever, just for a very long time. We can't see the black hole, but we can tell where it is based on where things are orbiting. Oh my god, what were the chances that those collided with Earth? Damn. That was a little bit rough. Although, the black hole is ensuring that Earth has some heat. Because every time Earth goes by, it gets super hot. So maybe... Maybe there will be a small period of time in which life can actually survive. Eh? I mean, only a few days, but I'm sure life can form in a few days. If you think differently, you are not cool. <laughs> yeah, a random YouTuber called you not cool, what are you gonna do now? Your career is basically over. I mean, your life is basically over at that point. Okay, we're, we're getting... I don't know if we're actually making progress here. It seems like it just randomly heats up way more sometimes. So let's look at a graph. Okay, so heats up, cool. Oh, heats up, heats up. Yeah, okay, it's, it's definitely dropping. Oh, that one just spiked up. See, look at that. What is up with that? What what on absolute earth is going on with those massive peaks in temperature? I do not understand. All right, we're going to increase earth's uh velocity a little bit so that earth is not at Oh no! Earth. Earth, you weren't supposed to do that. Quickly go back to your parents. <laughs> Oh wait, Earth's gonna be livable for a moment. Yes, yes, guys, look, the temperature, it's within livable parameters. <laughs> Quickly throw some water on it and we can call it a day. Ah, yes, this is how Earth always looked. I'm so glad that we have come to this conclusion that this is just normal Earth. Are people, excuse me, are the lights back on? But only in Central America. Some freaking Cubans survived this. What the heck? And there's like a single dot in South America. Are, are you kidding me? Cuba survived this and nobody else did? Wow. That is a good looking planet. Let me just say. I mean... Are you really going to argue, like, we can go ahead and set the background to something cool as well, like, purple nebula, oh my god, oh, look at that. See, you can, you can never get tired of, oh, damn. That's pretty good too. Oh, that one's even better. Look at that. This is what happens. T t this is good, Earth is fine. Look, the Great Lakes are looking real clean right now, so good job, Michigan. Good, good, good. Very nice. I mean, ignore the fact that part of the Pacific is a new continent. Um, there's a lot of land. Time, time to explore. If there's oil, I know who's interested. Alrighty, guys. That's gonna be it until we do Minecraft, so... Thank you all for watching, leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed, and I will see you all next time. Whoa! You're all small and insignificant in the grand scheme of things. No, I'm joking, you're special to me.